Oh, I did it again. I did it again. Oh my god, that was a hard task. That was a fat hundred points. Oh. That's gonna happen. At this point, oh my god. And I and look at that, and I forgot to minimize the high score thing too. I'm just on a roll. I am just an an unstoppable machine. I still haven't gone to go kill the tree people to take their axes because I'm just too goddamn lazy. And uh I like looking at memes on the internet while I AFK barbarian fishing. Totally different from the base game. Medium clue and can I do it? I can. Ooh. Okay, so I just killed my first nature spirit, and I got a nature's talisman, which means if I want to, I can go craft nature runes on demand, which means we should be good for anything that needs high alking. Oh, finally. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That felt... Oh, never mind. Was that really only 21? That feels off. I don't think this is... I don't think this is accurate. There's no way... Well, actually, maybe it was. Because I am I have the, the relic that makes all my drops, like, twice as good, right? Passive. Items from some sources will be twice as common. So I guess that counts as that. Oh, well... Look at that. Easy peasy. I got a new plan, which is I am going to go for uh, two or 25 mil fishing XP because I would like to get 1k points from it. And the reason why is I'm heavily contemplating getting the Infernal Gathering relic. And if I get this, I won't be able I won't be able to use these tools that you get from this relic at barbarian fishing, right? Because it, it just gives me all of the, the functions. So if I'm ever going to do barbarian fishing, I need to do it before I get that relic. And I'll get a ton of strength agility or strength and agility XP, which is awesome because I am just really Really just too lazy to train agility right now. Because uh, I got the other series that whenever I eventually go back to, I'm going to have to do agility. And I don't want to do agility just to turn around and here in a month do it again. So, that's what we're doing. And I am 10k away from 90 fishing. And so far it's going well. I'm all the way up to 65 agility. The dream is see how close I can get to just getting everything as much as possible unlocked and uh if we give it how many more i got i got seven and that is yeah that's currently the plan because i'm trying to see I'm, I'm weighing the options between just rushing all of the relics for the more xp and efficiency versus uh just doing it and then getting the relics later because i'm in a precarious situation where i believe right now a lot of people um all of these are really good like exploding attacks i don't know what i should take for the purposes of maging because like weapon specialist it's kind of weird if i want to just be maging everything so the plan is i may since i'm not gonna do desert and i'm not gonna have ancients I could have my own scuffed pseudo ancients with exploding attacks. It won't hit everything, but it will hit enough. And this may be my giga brain 5 million IQ strategy. Uh, and this could be that, or dr just go the. Dr uh, what you might call it? Training strikes. So I could have more prayer. Uh, which is. 10% of the damage dealt, which is interesting. But I may I may think on it. And while I think on it, I'm just going to be keep doing the good old-fashioned feathering, uh, fishing. Because another thing I gain from doing this is I don't have to use my pure essence. Boom. Easy points. Uh, I don't have to use my pure essence right now. Because, oh, I can 
move that out of the way. Because right now, if I was to do rune crafting, I could get, you know, the levels right now. It'd be cool. But I'd use my pure essence. And it's slow as hell to get pure essence. Right? I'd have to go do an obnoxious long quest chain to go get the other extra XP essence. Um, which I don't really know if I want to. Uh, just because I'm going to need to craft a lot of runes anyway. So the nice middle ground is just keep all the essence I got. And then once I get the super um, XP modifier, then I'll just go hard in the paint on rune crafting. And uh, yeah, that's the, the current plan. I will be back in just a second with hopefully 25 million fishing experience. Missed another task. 50 points for Alkin. On second thought, I think I'm going to go finish the rest of fishing on Karambwans and Sharks. Because I got 70 agility, and I feel like that's good enough uh, for just agility itself. And 71 strength is perfectly fine. And I'm probably going to need some stuff. And I got to go do a bunch of other tasks, because... I've been too lazy to go do all of the easy tasks. I'm probably not going to record those because some of them are just like, you can just look at them and like, the only thing to describe it is like, because it's things like, Echa Karambwan Johnny. And, you know, get a spiny helmet, receive a slayer task, cut a sapphire, craft a leather body. You know, <laughs> the one was, that was the plank. All of these things, I don't think anyone on the planet is going to be excited to see when I defeat a moss giant. So I'm probably going to create the uh, system of, I'm just going to record medium and above. Because all of the 10 point tasks are just boring as fuck. They just make you want to fall asleep. Like, oh man. Hey guys, I did Romeo and Juliet. Whoa. You get the idea. Uh, and I will be back with whatever I decide to do next. I forgot that there was a task for getting 50 combat, and I'm just chilling here to get a couple of, you know, uh, prayer levels so I can get the easy task for using improved reflexes and superhuman strength at the same time. Super exciting. Okay, this fishing decision was the worst decision ever. But, I can at least give me some points by blasting that, teleporting to Camelot, easy, and then going back. Easy 100. My best cloak comes is the Arty Achievement Diary cloaks. So, I gotta start doing some farming. And, uh, I'm like the worst farmer in the world, so wish me luck. So, my farming was actually successful. I totally thought everything was gonna die, but I actually got the marigold, and I got the herbs. And one of the cabbages died, but who cares? We can worry about that later. And, yeah, we are, we're living big right now. I can give me some good herbler experience. And right now, I kind of have to focus on getting the farming up, because I need the cloak. Because the cloak options, like, my best shield is apparently the Brudu Tiki Shield. That's unironically the best shield I can get, unless I want to unlock the Wilderness. Or I get insane luck with the Wyverns. But those Wyverns are quite a ways away. Ooh! Renar! Okay, I just got 55 thieving, which means I can now go do the arty night task, I believe. There's one for pickpack pick pickpocketing them. Blah. Easy pick. Okay. So what do we got to do now? Man, I still got a long ways. I really I got to go back and finish the fishing. <laughs> I got 10 million experience that I left. This is the most inefficient way to do this possible. Uh, yeah, I definitely have to go back there and finish that 99, don't I, for 250 points. 
Oh, yeah, I have to go. You know what I need to do? Watch this. I'm going to go port back home. And by home, I mean the place that I've been like twice. I, what's the fishing trawler? And I need to do some cooking because I have no food. You know, for a person that has 96 uh, fishing, I have surprisingly little food. Uh, and I need to go fix that. I go cooking some stuff. And then eventually cooking the sharks I got. Because I got, what, 500, I believe? 400 something? Yeah, 486. Which is pretty solid. And I'm going to go cook some of this stuff until I can start cooking this stuff and have real food. Because I'm down to 32 lobsters. Oh no, it takes 80 cooking. Well, I got to go get some monkfish. Because there's no way I'm going to, I have enough food to get to 80 cooking. Monkfish task. Just hit 62 cooking so I can cook my monkfish now. Which means I can have some real food. Hopefully don't burn too many of these monkfish. But who cares? I can always get more. Uh, I should... Oh, I really should go back <laughs> and get the fishing. I should just go get more monkfish probably. Depending on how close the monkfish I do have get me to um, that respectable... 80 cooking that I need which is definitely so I'll probably just go get more monkfish and then do a couple of more really baby uh, baby tasks that I don't feel like are worthy of being recorded because some of them again you know clean a guam uh, drink a strength potion which I mean for that one I could just wait for the random light a torch you know use the sawmill I'll have to go to Varrock and do that Anyway, I'll be right back. Oh, I just built the canoe and I got a genie. But as we know, the genie doesn't give me more XP. So it doesn't matter because we can put it back there into that herb lore and it's whoa. Oh, wait, never mind. It does give me more XP. It just shows up as it's giving 60. Oh, that's actually really good. Nine herb lore. I just did the nature rune task and I'm about to die. I got to get everything in there. Before I die. Oh, 10 seconds. Ooh. Get in there. Get in there. Get everything in there. Okay, I'm ready to die. You can take me now. I already won. Do what you do what you must. I've already won. Ah, easy. Are you kidding me? Big swoop. Big swoop. This is supposed to be my random. Oh, that's the strength. That was the task right there. Big swoop. Big Swoop isn't even going to get his potion. Oh my god, is Big Swoop just going to not get it? This is the most exciting thing that's happened in this entire grind. I'm, I'm at 98. Yeah, other people, you know, they do cool things like go into the wilderness and kill bosses and leagues. I do fishing. Woo! At least, wait, I didn't even get to see a big... I, I like to think in my own head cannon, Big Swoop didn't get his attack potion. He most definitely didn't have the herb. Okay. Well, I'll be back in probably an hour when I'm done with this. Two more fish for 74 strength and like 19 more for 99 fishing. Truly the greatest decision. I totally do not regret going for this 99 fishing at all. It was definitely not a bad decision. And I definitely do not have enough gold for the cape. So I have to go get the gold for the cape now. Man, I'm just full of good ideas. But uh, we have to decide where we're going to go from here. Because we're already super far behind. Um, we're definitely not going to catch up. Because I'm retarded, it seems. Uh, but we'll have to do our best. And I'm probably going to go unlock the next zone. I need to unlock the next zone, but I may wait to do that for Slayer. Because I need Rogue's Outfit for Thieving. And I need to do Slayer for Prayer XP. I need to go Mine for Crap. I just need to do everything. The only thing I've done is fish. I've been fishing for like the last day. Uh, and... One more. Whoa. Come on. Bang. 
Look at that. 250 points. So we got just a, a wee bit to go. Bang. So 300, that should be easy. There's probably just some random task that's worth uh, 300 points or 100 points, three of which. And I will be back in just a minute. I'll probably just go ahead and do thieving so I can go get uh, those related tasks or some in Ardone. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport over there. And on top of the ones, yeah, because there's a bunch of thieving tasks in Ardone. And I need to get gold because I want to buy the cape. Buying the cape, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I need to buy full rune because that's a task. Dang it, I may not. <laughs> I shouldn't buy the cape. The cape doesn't actually do anything for me. It's a tank cape, right? And I have no news for a tank cape. I should do the Ardone, the Ardugni uh, diaries, but I'm just too lazy. I think one of them I had to do a quest. Yeah, I'm, I, apparently right now I'm just too lazy to do uh, Plague City. That's, yeah, I guess I'm just too lazy to do Plague City. The super long quest known as Plague City. Uh, and I will be back, um, feeling in an upward trajectory in just a minute. Okie dokie, I gotta kill, s uh, I think one out of six tribesmen will drop me a snapgrass that I need for Plague City. So I gotta go find them and kill them before they kill me. Hopefully I have enough food to eat through the poisons. But, uh, who knows? Easy snapgrass, got it. I'm gonna eat this dude's bones. Or, yeah, fuck it. We're gonna eat this dude's bones and we're gonna get out of there.